Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 30th, 2021. Can you believe it? The end of July. Unreal. All right, let's see what we have going on for today. Okay, it's a messy day. <laughs> I feel the card is very, very messy. But remember, you have control over your own energy. Yeah, turquoise. Awaken your empathy. The number is 34. Whenever this comes up, this does talk about, you know, leaning on your spiritual team because things might feel a little chaotic and all over the place. You might feel like, man, I was just taking all that time to just relax and now I'm back to work. Um, I took all that time to decompress and now back to all the drama. <laughs> this is saying stay grounded, stay in the flow. Yes. Stay in your own truth. Awaken your empathy. Again, people are going to be going through their stuff. You go through your stuff and it's fine. But mostly stay open to what your guides and angels are trying to bring forward for you. So again, this feels like heartfelt truth. A heartfelt truth. So what does that mean? That means you might be sitting there having your cereal in the morning and your coffee. And then you're like, whoa. All of a sudden, a flash of compassion for someone that you really don't like. Now, for codependent people, I'm not a psychologist, so it's not a diagnosis whatsoever, just for conversation here. But if you see yourself as a codependent or whatever, you got a, an official diagnosis from a professional, you know, that can get tricky because we do tend to want to just see um, the good in people, right? Or to save them or what have you. That's not exactly what we're talking about. We're not talking about going into, um, you know, back into a, a pattern that you're trying to heal but rather you might have some insight about why somebody behaves the way they do. It does not excuse their bad behavior. We, you know, if you're dealing with adults, they make choices, right? So you can choose to be a better person. Right? You could choose to heal yourself. You could choose to, you know, take a different path. But this is more about you have this understanding, this realization, and then something happens where you can kind of let it go. So I don't know if this is like an argument that maybe you had with somebody or some sort of discord that you have with people. And you suddenly go, well, I guess if I were in that position, I'd be kind of anxious about it too. And then boom, you release all the steam out of it and it doesn't get to you anymore. And maybe you approach that person with a little more kindness. It could go another way too, where it's like, you know, I'm so stressed out about getting that job, getting that job, getting that job, getting that job. And then you kind of have this realization of, and if I don't get it, I'll, I'll back to square one. Okay. And that can be frustrating, but is it the end of the world? No, if, it, if you don't get the job, it wasn't for you, okay? We will get put into places where we're having to learn very deep lessons. So always have gratitude for that, yes? So that's what I'm saying about being connected into your heartfelt truth and being grounded and in alignment as that truth comes forward. This is a gift. It's not something that's working against you, all right? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.